Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Column Tyrrell Podcast. Before we get started, why don't you get off your fat fucking ass and go support the Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash Column Tyrrell. You get two extra episodes a week, behind the scenes bullshit, um, and some other shit. You know how it is. Keeps the lights on. Do not be a gay person. Um, and I mean that like in a homophobic way. <laughs> not like the new way. Not like the like, no, gay is like, means you're lame. I mean in like a, ugh, what are you doing? <laughs> You taking up the gig pipe? <laughs> no way. God did not want that. God did not want a fella getting a penis up his shitter. Unless he was an altar boy. The fucking shit pipe pushed in on you. <laughs> Disgusting. Ugh. Tell him how you feel. Rug munchers are fine. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> I'm on no the road. Lie. I got dates coming up. All over the country. We got LA coming up this weekend. Florida. Um, Poughkeepsie. Poughkeepsie. Young David Caggiano. Yo, show them your face. Let's go. I don't like the way that curtain's not pushed over long enough. It's too many colors. but No, the op- completely the opposite direction. Could not have been worse. <laughs> Could not have had a worse, worse natural instinct. You won't be seeing much of him anymore. No, so again, <laughs> no, that curtain was fine where it was. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's great. Somehow managed to make it worse, David. <laughs> Have you not? Uh, no interior design? No. <laughs> no fling? Close this window behind you. What is going on? Fucking hillbillies. <laughs> the fucking midtown hillbillies you two are. <laughs> do you don't get it? What? It should be even. Now, don't worry about it, David. Don't worry. Don't worry your pretty little big dicked head about it, all right? We're going to keep... We'll, we'll keep the uh, flair and material designed to someone with intelligence who has a small dick, all right? Uh, like get, our leader, yes. Yes, yes. I'm sorry you guys are nothing but fucking me heads, and all you want to do is stick your dick in drunk <laughs> women, right? Some of us <laughs> some of us have more ambition than just <laughs> oh, clunch yeah. hunting. Just clunch <laughs> hunting all day. You guys are nothing but addicted to clunch. <laughs> And I'm out here noticing the the the, the details. <laughs> the God decline. is in the fucking details, all right? <laughs> Plunging the clunge, dude. You guys are clunge hunters. <laughs> Plunging. Uh, you're fucking clunge. There's no plunging going on. It's all hunting. <laughs> you're like fucking... <laughs> it's all hunting, no gathering. You're like fucking... Um, your man, your man in Castaway for the first two years. Yeah. Can't catch nothing. You got a big dirty beard. <laughs> One day you're gonna get a crab that fucking died of natural causes. <laughs> all right, get the pussy off your brain, lads. All right. You ever hear Andrew Tate talk about pussy? No. No. His name's Andrew Tate, right? Yes. You never hear him talking about pussy. <laughs> he talks about harams, which I believe is a stable harams. of whores. What is it? Haram. What is, is it? Har- that, it it's something. I've only is, ever read it. So in my defense, it is or isn't haram. Oh, so it's good. It's, it's used like, like that. It's like I, lit. I think it's Yo, like the shit, middle. Yo, shit, that shit is haram. That shit haram is fuck. Yo. <laughs> it's a bad thing? Yeah, haram is bad. Uh, no, 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 no. It's no, it's like haram. fucking. So it's mid. Listen, it's like in. It's just haram. It's yes. like in uh, fucking Honolulu, where aloha means hello and goodbye. Mm. Right? <laughs> mm-hmm. so, so, or or like the term sick. Like, oh, that's sick. Yeah. So, so, so if, if you see some guy just buys himself a Ferrari, that is sick. That's haram. You see two gay guys holding hands. That is sick. <laughs> you see what I'm talking about here, guys? You see the see the way he does dual. Isn't language interesting? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Anyway, get the fucking pussy lips off your brain. Fucking addicted to lips, you two are. I'm lift right? up, dude. No, no. <laughs> we we look. We're taking pills and we're becoming asexual. We're taking purple pills. <laughs> they're, they're, called, they're called purple juice. They're called purple rhino. Purple juice, right? Yeah. And it's like the it's like the opposite. He's like, are you bricked up all day? Can you not focus at work? Are you constantly scrolling on Instagram, liking titties? <laughs> you need purple pill, purple chew, the first chewable non erection tablet. <laughs> It'll keep you soft for days. Exactly. It's 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 just a, a rival to Blue Chew. It's an anti. Blue Chew is all Chew. about getting boys pussy. We're all about getting boys back to haram. We're getting harammed up. Absolutely. So watch this space for a anti erection pill from Colin Terrell. <laughs> That's our latest design. Which, without a doubt, 
cannot stress enough, will have huge, huge medical side effects. <laughs> I cannot tell you, I cannot imagine the world where <laughs> Collie's... Collie's magical anti-horn... Collie's purple pills. Collie's anti-horn juice. <laughs> coming around, selling it in like a little medicine bottle, like <laughs> like Jägermeister. Just like, <laughs> you know. Whoa! Go, dude, don't get bricked up. Don't, don't, just don't throw it away. <laughs> Bricks no more. Yeah, I'm walking to the CEOs. Listen, you guys keep raping women. Take this fucking <laughs> anti-horn juice. <laughs> fucking get him, get, get back to world domination. Look at Harvey Weinstein. He could have killed for Collie's world famous anti horn juice. <laughs> Magical anti horn juice. Step right up. <laughs> Who's got the hardest cock in the village? Step right up. Step right Come up. Come here, big man. Traveling around town to town. <laughs> <laughs> Traveling around. Step right up. Step right up. Ladies, are you tired of your man coming home and taking what he wants? Just Whoa. because you're his wife and legally his proper tie? <laughs> Slips on the column tools, magical anti horn juice <laughs> in his dinner. Uh, <laughs> your, your pussy won't be touched for weeks. <laughs> Finally, take some, take the pain off your feet. Take the weight off your feet. Pain off your feet. And then I go, step right up. Who's got the biggest hard on in the village? And then, and then, <laughs> meanwhile, Okay, oh, I do. This retired is the plant. He's the plant. <laughs> yeah. And it was like, I don't remember that village idiot. And all the ladies are like, Ooh, what's with his greasy skin and his sallow <laughs> olive oil voice? His olive oil voice. <laughs> Why well, I do? I do. He's got all of the qualities of a black man <laughs> without any of the scariness. <laughs> he's got. It's like the blackest white man I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah I'm Sicilian. <laughs> Why is he? What is that magical tracksuit he's wearing? What is that? It's so shiny. <laughs> and the stripes on the side. Wow, I've never seen a man wear jewelry before. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> never seen a man with a waxed bush before. Mm. Would you like to come around to my salon and do some cocaine? <laughs> do some cocaine. <laughs> um, I'm telling you, Collie's anti horn juice. Don't to sell it to the boys. That's good. Collie's magical anti horn juice. <laughs> I'm not gonna start advertising this on other people's podcasts <laughs> with a promo code that leads you nowhere. <laughs> maybe it goes to maybe it goes to blue chew. Maybe it's just just antidepressants. Huh? It's just antidepressants. It's just it, Lexapro. What? Lexapro? Yeah. yeah. I thought that was for your hair. Doesn't that help your hair? No. No. But that what helps your hair? Side keeps. effects. Of, um, not keeps. Yeah, it keeps. Keeps hair. hims. No. What's the original one? Oh, uh, Rogaine. Rogaine, but oh, aside from that, is decreased libido. Yeah, any like fucking yeah. don't correcting. Need that. Don't need that medicine. Will fuck up your libido. Don't need that. I get my, I get fucking, I get erections like my period fucking once a month. Just fucking. <laughs> oh, oh, that's the time of month again. I'm hard. Oh, he's shedding his gayness. <laughs> yeah, so guy like me. I got to turn my phone off. That was rude of me. Yeah, very rude to talk no. about your dick and then just completely disregard no, us. I got a text. It was more important than this podcast. What's that noise? Just the sound of the city, dude. It's the sh it's like, it sounds like a ship. It sounds like a ship. Fucking a UFO. Anyway, I've got dates in LA, Connecticut, Poughkeepsie. David, Cad David Caggiano is coming to Poughkeepsie. We'll come to Hartford, Ew. Connecticut. Tickets are in the at columntarot.com. And then I'm sure I've got other dates, and I'm not going to be adding more dates this year. It's going to be a good old tour. Woo! Um, it's just a little bit slower than I anticipated because for some reason... <laughs> um, what the fuck? What are we all having a laugh here, David? <laughs> you bring up Fallon. Let's go. What? Um, <laughs> You're gonna bring up Fallon? No, yeah, I wasn't. I no. wasn't, but I, I probably would have actually. <laughs> I hadn't. I hadn't. Listen, all all roads lead to Fallon, <laughs> dude. <laughs> dude follow the money, dude. It ends up. It ends up in Fallon. <laughs> it's like the wire. It's a, Fallon's going around. Go she. <laughs> Fallon's taking briefcases of money so that little Irish guys can can achieve someone else's dream of being on a late night. Come the kid. No, I'm gonna go on James Gordon. That's the new one. I got the booker's email. I'm going to send them a tape telling you. C fucking corporate collie. Out in LA, dude. Because you know what? This underground, uh, this underground, whatever you call this, unpopular show, it's not working for me. <laughs> whatever you want to call this cool, secret, 
<laughs> Very niche. It's a niche, it's an underground, underworldly sort of a hidden, dark webby. It's real. It's real. We don't have many sponsors. We uh, we say some stuff. It's cool, you know. We're not like all those rich comedians who won't say that no more. They've all changed, right? We're still, we're still fucking. Just, it's, I want to change so much. <laughs> I want to get. I, I just. I'm, I really just want to be given the opportunity to sell out. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Also, selling out is the right thing to do. It's crazy. Yeah. I would. It's crazy to see some of the comments on certain things. You know, when when comedians start to get a bit of a profile, like there's more repercussions to what they're saying, and their lifestyle changes or whatever. Right. For the better. Yeah, that was the goal. What are you? Is what, that the whole what, reason? We, we're all going to be out of work. Fucking. Uh, fucking welders like what the fuck are we yeah. doing? like some of us need to go make money we all could have been do in the coke union. with whitney cummings exactly. this is what we gotta do you should you should be fucking proud of your of your <laughs> you should be f- proud of your favorite comedian not saying um slurs anymore because they've got a tour that could get canceled you should be proud of that you should be like it was like a fat chick losing weight you should be like yeah listen sure she used to suck me off when she was fat but now she's too good for that. But I supr- I appreciate it. I appreciate Usually the you better suck when they're a little chubby too. Listen, the only one I've ever experienced. Come on. <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Not many skinny. All you fat phobic types out there, you're missing out. Is Danny holds a goal? And <laughs> um, like I said, just clunge hunters. These two dumb Italian pussy hounds. Just lip. Just addicted to lip. Don't make that face <laughs> like you're a TikTok kid. In his, You're getting in, me all in, in up, his man's yeah. kitchen. Why are you biting your lip? Because like, I'm brickless cage right you, now. Fucking hell. You're like Scarlett Johansson. We're talking about the Don John, John or something. <laughs> what are you trying to do? <laughs> Don't ever bite your lip in front of another man. That's I hate this so much. How do I shoot, <laughs> shoot him? Put him off. Can you get, off, get him off the wide cam? Just take him off. No more biting your lip. All right. And then make sure you hit subscribe if you're on YouTube. All right, so that's the... the, the that's the pre-ramble. That's the pre-ramble. Last episode was like a 45-minute pre-ramble. But I think it kind of works. All right, we got um, <laughs> the boy. Obviously, we got Fonzie in the house. We got David Casagiano in the house. Um, and the boys have prepared some cool story headlines. We got, look at this. We got Hooters rebrands after study suggests that millennials are not into boo. Whoa. Millennials are old, though. Yeah, are they're we, older than me. I'm not even millennial. You're not a millennial? No, you guys are millennials. I'm not. I'm actually older than a millennial. Are you sure? Uh, well, it's just like how I brand myself. <laughs> it's how I brand myself. What's, sure. old, what's older than a millennial? Gen X. Is that after? Gen X uh, is yeah. you. Yeah. No, I'm Gen Z. You're Gen Z? Where am I Gen X? Gen X is... That's why I'm Gen- why is X? Why is X after... It what is doesn't it? Go, Gen X is older than Do we have money. access to the internet? Yeah. I'm telling you. Yeah. I, I know it, dude. <laughs> are you on Google right it. now? What are you doing? I got it. What is it? Gen X is the older fucking... than millennials. Gen X? Yeah, just look up the generations. Because I know I'm Z because like I'm the cutoff. Like I'm not in common with any of those You're fucks. the oldest Z, are you? I'm the oldest Z. All right, so. I'm the straightest Z. Gen X is between born between 65 and 79. Millennials, Z- 1980 wait, to Generation 19- X. So who the fuck are they? I don't know. Those are the those are yeah. after the baby boomers. That's like Bobby Kelly and stuff, is it? Yeah, those are like, yeah. All right, I don't really know many of them. All right, millennials born nineteen eighty to nineteen ninety four. Right, but here's the thing. Um, I was born in Ireland. Don't know if you know <laughs> that about me. I was born in nineteen ninety, and Ireland is like ten years behind the times, especially in the nineties. So and this is yeah. like pre-internet. So actually. I would say the equivalent would be more like I'm a Generation X. You're like fucking medieval, dude. I don't know. We skipped the boomer generation. We never really had a good generation. So we didn't get involved in war. We're not like you guys who just like show up unannounced all the time. Yo, let's get some fucking, let's have some blood on our hands. Yeah. You and your military industrial complex. Patooey. Patooey to that. <laughs> you hear me? I say patooey. Patooey? I can patooey. picture you in like some chain mail going fucking, on a crusade, dude. I, yeah, absolutely. I want some spices. You got crusade I'm face. fucking, dude, I'm looking for tea and spices. I'm about to fucking burn. I'm about to burn your village down. Give me, give me some fucking cumin. My boy's going to Constantinople <laughs> I'm with showing a torch. Up. Where's the fucking chili flakes? <laughs> Dollar, do- you cannot eat dollar pizza without some chili flakes. <laughs> we will not season our chicken. Yeah, I'm not burn down Beijing 
because I'm looking for some chili flakes. And they're like, what the fuck? We don't even know chili flakes. <laughs> Why chili flakes? <laughs> all right, learn English. Yeah, all right. I show up <laughs> and I smack him with a sword. <laughs> say, now you got to kill them. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, say, you disrespecting me? The Crusaders, dude. Just showing up going, wait, I don't know. What are you saying? Stop saying it louder. <laughs> you're having a, like a, 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 a medieval like a medieval fucking communication thing you're going where is the spices and they go I you hand you their daughter, daughter go, here da! <laughs> and then they just scream louder Kadaya! you go fuck Sk- fucking learn the language <laughs> you have to go show in up. their country <laughs> yeah, yeah you gotta show up to the king or whatever the prince of yeah. China the prince. <laughs> Teach these fuckers English, will you? What are you? What are you doing? What is all this squiggles? <laughs> squiggles. What the fuck, dude? That must be fucking pretty sick. Because we 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 have access to nearly everything. So there's there's very few things that just blow our mind. You know, like did you ever see in fucking Apocalypse Now, at the end of it when the fucking uh, Christopher Columbus and all show up on the boat, and they're all like fucking Apocalypto. Apocalypto. Yes. yes. Very very different movie. Yes. Um, I'm like Martin Sheen's going crazy yeah. in the jungle. Christopher this Columbus. Is, I can't Christopher follow. Columbus shows up on, a, <laughs> on, a, on an F-16 jet. <laughs> no, no. They just got that old Fuck school. Now. They, just, <laughs> they got it, the old school uh, Mother Teresa, whatever the boat was called. Whatever it was called. Santa Maria. The Santa, yeah, the Santa Nina Maria. Nina Pinta Santa Maria. The Mary Teresa. And they show up, but it's like. da da Love the smell of napalm. I love the smell of of fucking, <laughs> fucking spaghetti bolognese in make, the morning. <laughs> what are they called in uh, the Aztecs? I love the smell of Aztecs in the morning. <laughs> um, Inca. Yeah, anyway, yeah, the Incas in the morning. Anyway, so but that would like blow your mind. Like the idea of you just seeing that. Uh, like you're like 28 years old. You've seen everything. You're, you're, you're throwing you're, spears. You're a grand. You're 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 the senior in your little tribe. You're mm. 28 years old. You've got grandkids. You probably grab a group. Probably... 28 years old. What? Yeah. <laughs> they're, just, they're just Puerto Rican. <laughs> yeah, more or less. You've, have you seen Mexicans? <laughs> Mexicans developed younger than whites. We got to make um, laws by race. <laughs> all right, cut that. Do, no, right. do not let that air. Do not let that air. Fuck. Fuck. I thought this was the Patreon. God damn it. Fucker. If you want to hear more of that, Why did I say something join the cool? Patreon. Why the fuck did I say something cool on the free episode? I'm always doing that. Got to say, you're always that. being too cool, dude. Too cool on the Patreon, on the free episodes. The Patreon is where we get, uh, we take our hair down, unleash. Yeah, sing ballads. Sang a little ballad yesterday. It was pretty sick. We did. Mm. It was, uh, it was kind of like an old thing, you know. It's like the Irish have these songs about like you know, um, fuck the British. Mm-hmm. It was like that, but it was about the Jews. Nice. Little oh, fuck yeah. We all drank, we drank beer. <laughs> <laughs> He's a jolly good fellow. Yeah. Anyway, but the point being, I think I'm a, I, I think I'm a millennial. Also, listen, because you guys were involved in war, so post World War Two, you had the baby because you're all just sucking and fucking, just sucked and fucked your way across this country. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you had the boomers, right? The baby boomer generation, which is the worst generation. Which is a great time to be alive. <laughs> Great time to be. For sure. Just like a madman. You're smoking inside. You're smacking oh, your weight, yeah. your receptionist ass. The Coke's good. Oh, that Coke is. But they barely even had Coke. It was like the first, probably, they're probably chewing Coke leaves. They're like, just drinking Coca Cola. Yeah, back. they were just drinking Coke. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Dr. Pepper was still was the real doctor at the time. These are all the, there was just a different generation back then. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just a solid time. Just to be walking around, you walk home, your wife like was like leaning over some shitty oven, you know? Yeah, smoking Real. with a pregnant baby. Yeah, exactly. What do you call them? The Stanford wives or whatever? They're fucking, um, just that era of... Boozy beep, housewives. Beep. Yeah, just a dirty, pilled up, boozy housewife. Milkman coming at to home, your house. the kids. Fucking yeah, your, yeah. Fucking your wife while you at work. The milkman would whistle. <laughs> I'm the fucking McMahon. I'm I give gone. milk to your wife while I'm you're about, at home. I'm a fuck your mother in the shit pipe. <laughs> what? <laughs> Honey, why is there something like the milkman? <laughs> well, they, everyone was the same thing. Everyone was everyone was just white. white. And <laughs> you wouldn't have a black baby. You wouldn't have a black milkman. Yeah, they didn't even like Italians back then, dude. Go to right. Make America great again. Goddamn right. You got you fucking dirty wops snuck in. Too much culture in this place you guys, now. You fucking, no, you didn't. You snuck in and started making Puerto Rican women pregnant. 
And now we're just, just it's like... It's so true. Holy shit. Just, it's horrible. <laughs> I'm like, hey, Horrible. Time. All these Italians. You, <laughs> like, Chris, so many Puerto Rican Chris Stefano. <laughs> <laughs> All the Italians that I know have Puerto Rican... Every Italian I've ever met has a Puerto Rican... <laughs> So Puerto Rican nephews. <laughs> they <are serious. laughs> they're, they're celebrating fucking, what is it? What do they celebrate? In, 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 what's this? Feliz Navidad? What do they celebrate? That's just Christmas. I know. But they're always celebrating weird stuff in Puerto Rico. They're always doing like fucking. Always car parades. Yeah. Motorcades. Yeah, yeah they're in the hydraulics or whatever. Fun people. Anyway, so look, so because we didn't have the boomer generation, it does, it's, not, it's not aptly, you can't compare those generations because they're different. They're completely different. Mm-hmm. An Irish person born in the 50s is completely different from an American person. Mm. Nowadays, it's a little bit more, I think. Um, Even keel. I think because of the internet. And all For sure. Stuff. So I don't think I'm a millennial. I don't think I should be categorized as a millennial. I well, think I should think I should be generation triple X. Because, you know, I love fucking, you know. Fuck yeah. Dude. Hell yeah, bro. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Nice. Clunging. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah, dude. Don't be afraid to bring it to the table, boys. Kali Clungies, <laughs> dude. Kali Clungies. You, you keep up, boys. Come on, look. I'm fucking I'm lead. trying I'm, to think. Wait, so I'm, there was... I'm marching my way through the jungle right now. I'm so like, there you guys wasn't... follow me carrying the supplies. There wasn't any... <laughs> I'm yeah, fucking... Cut, I'm cutting my way through <laughs> a jungle. He, he's podcast. the medic, dude. He's got the hat with the cross on it. <laughs> he's just a medic. He's taking all the heroin. You're trying to... <laughs> oh, yeah. He has a, a leech on his nuts. <laughs> he got two leeches on his yeah, balls. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. hell yeah. Fuck. He's trying to resuscitate someone who got shot in the head seven times. He died of Fright! <laughs> this man has died of fright. <laughs> I'm, I'm journaling. Yeah, I'm journaling. I'm, an, I'm a fucking adventurer. Yeah. And I'm just like, choo, choo, cut my way to. Yeah, you guys are shooting up. Just afraid to afraid to kill somebody. <laughs> so there yeah. was no Irish people in World War Two. Is that what you're telling me? There was, yeah, but they they went and fought for the British just to get oh them, get really a bit, of, get a bit of money. Yeah, well, uh, sometimes people just sign up for work because it's like a, actually a good thing. Well, but in I, that case, but yeah. we don't. We never, we never, we never picked sides, you know. Tell me about it. I'm, I'm living it every day. You know what I'm saying? It's like we hear World War Two, and it was like, yo, these boys in Germany, they crushing skulls. Dude. Oh god, making some good points, dude. These, these, and we, that's what we, said, we said like again, like the Cristalia thing. I haven't heard both sides of the argument, <laughs> right? I'm not gonna pick a side, and then years later realize I'm on the wrong side of the comedy store or whatever. The wrong side of yeah, the wrong side of the picket line. The wrong yeah. side of the Laugh Factory. <laughs> Hey, I want to work to the Laugh Factory, so Delia can do whatever the fuck he wants. All You're right? just crossing the street on Sunset Boulevard, going back and forth. Hey, listen, listen. Here's the thing. Here's the thing with comedy, and you got to remember this. Um, does it benefit me to you know be an anti crystalia sex slave cult guy? I don't think so. No. You know, there's a guy in LA called Mark Hayes. He runs shows at the Laugh Factory. He's an Irish comedian, and he'll book me. And uh, Crystalia works at club a lot, so I don't want to come out here and be like, yo. Patooey. Patooey to that behavior. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna be uh, yo Chris. You're gonna do spit at yo, him when you say him. Patooey to that behavior. I'm not gonna be like, yo, listen, man, didn't watch the doc. Both sides of every argument. Let me do this check spot. <laughs> Let me go do the check spot, dude. Look, me taking a stance against that type of I don't want to be the guy to come out and take a stance against uh, sex cults. Right? It's not really my thing. I look like a real Dope if I did that. If right? you went out there, yeah. Could um, use your, could use also, your, listen, your I'm, potion. Yeah. <laughs> he could what? have used, he could your, use the, col- the college anti horn juice. He, yes. They, 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 yes. <laughs> he yes. could have used it. Get me, get me, Crystal Lee on the phone. <laughs> I think we got the face. Yeah. I think we got him to actually, he needs to endorse the product yeah. like George Foreman. <laughs> <laughs> Delia's anti horn juice, magical anti horn juice. I haven't opened TikTok in two weeks. And he's like, what's up, babes? Hey, remember that time I used to force you to suck me off on the bus by knife point or whatever? I don't know. I didn't watch that. But it sounds like something you do. Yeah. Uh, he goes, now, I've been drinking this juice and I haven't been hard in weeks. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I'm addicted to the power. So, and the sex has very little to do with it. <laughs> so if anything, now that, I'm, now that I don't need to nut, I've actually increased my victims. I'm actually so much more focused than my chase. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take this call to the moon, <laughs> bro. Because it's that, so clear. N- now that I don't have clunge on my mind, I can focus prior- primarily on torturing the souls <laughs> of these young impressionable women. It's no longer just women; it's also dudes. <laughs> Sign up now, it's and you get this comics. free Crystalia hat. <laughs> so you're giving away. It says life rips. Free column merch that he could not give away 
for <laughs> for money. <laughs> he could, couldn't pay someone to take them off his hands. <laughs> it's like I ran out of spots to put the stickers on my laptop. I'm sorry. <laughs> Now Chris is Chris is innocent until proven guilty, right? At least on their show. Uh, yeah, we just don't watch. We don't watch one thing. Anyway, like I said, I want to. I want to do check spots at the, <laughs> the laugh factory. Please, so, well, take a stance against that. I'm not gonna bring the victims back or whatever. Did he kill someone? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just asking questions here, like Fox <laughs> News. How many people did Chris Lee kill? <laughs> is Tucker Carlson? I'm just asking questions. Uh, yeah, Chris <laughs> Delia. Chris Delia. Some say. Chris D'Elia, American man. That's not what I think of when I think of American. Um, yeah, that's, pretty, that's just, <laughs> not bad. Yeah, sorry. American sorry. man. Or is he American psycho? Yes. Comedian. I've never seen him be funny. <laughs> <laughs> he just ripping it. Comedian? Him. Well, I guess. He goes, today we're going to talk about nepotism babies. Chris D'Elia. He used that advantage. Uh, yeah, his dad's a producer or something. Mm-hmm. Which is probably more of a reason to hate the cunt, you know what I mean? Than, than him fucking well, do ta- we- <laughs> tie- tying a girl to a radiator or whatever. Yeah, whatever. I mean, she was in his DMs. You know dude. what? He's probably so rich he doesn't have radiators. Yeah, he's got heated floors, dude. Fuck, dude. Where's he tying these bitches up? <laughs> Where, how can he have done this if he doesn't have... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the jury. If he doesn't have steel heaters. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen this of the, the jury. Don't my, fit, na- yeah. my name is Dr. Colum. You may be aware of Dr. Colum's magical anti-horn <laughs> juice. Today I represent my client, Chris <laughs> Delia. <laughs> now, just because he have a tutti-frutti Italian name that do not... I mean, he, he has a tutti frutti Italian guinea wop name, <laughs> and he has the mannerisms of a black. Don't let that fool you. <laughs> Do not let that fool you. He is, in fact, white. <laughs> he is, in fact, a white. <laughs> a white. A white. I ask you, ladies and gentlemen, how could he have chained someone to his radiator when he is so rich that he has floored heating? <laughs> I rest my case. Now imagine if he was white. <laughs> what's the end of that movie? <laughs> now imagine if that little girl was white. Um, what's that movie? Did you ever see it? No. Is that fucking some black girls gone down the street and a bunch of fucking hillbilly clan guys? They pick her up and then they like fucking rape, rape the shit out of her. And then there's like a huge court case and all the people in the south it's like Mr. Shippy. It's just like on sea span and island. Oh, Mr. Shippy. <laughs> yeah, it's just Dublin to Tesla <laughs> Um, and you know, it's like an old, and then like the whole thing is he, the guy stands up to the juror and he's like, um, he tells this like uh, horrible story. I can't even remember what, what it's how, very he, how graphic. he tells it. Yeah, it's a really disgusting, horrible uh, story about her getting raped or whatever. And then at the end, he either tells the story about a white girl gets raped, and then at the end, he goes, Now imagine if that girl was black, and he points at the victim. Or he retells the story about the black girl getting raped, and then he goes, "Now imagine if that little girl was white." And then the fa- all the they'll start passing out. Yeah, the, their heads the, explode. They also go, "Oh happy day!" Oh happy you know, day! That's what happens whenever, whenever, because the black guy. Right. You know what happened was no, the black guy killed those white guys because. Uh, oh. Because they like cause retaliation. They were, they yeah, it was Samuel L. Jackson, and he goes, "Did they deserve to die?" He goes, "Yes, they deserve to die, and I hope they burn in hell." A time to kill. Could be. I believe so. Could be. Not much of a movie, Bush. But Cain Velasquez. <laughs> <laughs> a movie, Bush. <laughs> I like some movie, Bush, too. I'm not much of a movie, Bush, you Typically know? from the 80s. A lot of Bush. <laughs> more lot, of a movie, sure. A lot of Bush. A lot of Bush. Some Kevin Spacey's did. weird ass. Yes, they deserve to die. Is this it? And I hope they burn in hell. Hit images. Uh, yeah, Matthew McConaughey. I want to watch this. I Matthew never watched Mc- it. You never watched it? No, I just know about it, like from passing. All I tell you is you got to get yourself some Dr. Column's magical anti-horn juice before you sit down and watch this one. Because this one might make you. <laughs> this one might make you question your own sense of morality. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> this one might change the way you view yourself. Ladies and gentlemen of court. At what point does irony become reality? <laughs> <laughs> How deep in it are we necessarily? Because I lost track. At some point, I don't even know when I'm joking or being honest anymore. I'm just sitting here pleading fifth now, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> I just plead fifth. Anyway, so um, all these millennials are little fucking tutti frutties, mm-hmm. and they don't like big old boobies. Kidding Woo! me? Clip that. That's a, that's a clip. 
Um, this is so, like the same thing. That remember, like we. So read tell the- us about what's going on here. Pretty much, although I figured I, I've got it from the headline. Tell us, Fonzie, in your delightful, dirty little Philly accent. I'll be honest. I'm not the one who pulled this article for today. Right. But <laughs> great. I think there's a correlation between. Remember, we were saying like months ago about that study where what was it? They weren't fucking the millennials. Mm. They weren't having sex, and now it seems there's a thing where they're not even going out anymore. But like you were saying, it's got to be because. A lot of the dating apps, social media. These kids are just fucking the NPCs. What's that? That's like non- a non-playable little. character. It's like what people call. Yeah. Like they can't be fucking. It's like the simulation fucking. theory thing. Like people are just kind of here. Well, they said all years ago, Diageo or someone did a study. Diageo is like the biggest, one of the biggest alcohol companies in the world. and uh, Like manufacturers? Yeah, they're up there. It's like them and Budweiser and someone else, I think. Or right. maybe Budweiser. I don't know. Sure. Who gives a fuck? Yes. There's, by the way, there's only like five manufacturers yeah. of anything in of the world. Of anything ever. <laughs> yeah, legit. How do we get involved with the Rothschilds and get in there? <laughs> What's going on? Well, when do all these guys... stop talking shit about the Jews first off, because that's it's them. Yo, we... chill. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> all right, that's mom. That's how we get in. <laughs> okay, mom. You want the answers. <laughs> Jesus Yo, Christ. I mean, you want me to sell out Yo. that way? Yo, Fonzie, you bring your chick to work today? <laughs> oh, Jesus you, Christ. Damn. Yeah. What is it? Bring your daughter to fucking work today, dude? <laughs> <laughs> fucking chill out on the Jews, he said. You got this. You're, you've been, this is our bread and butter. What happened to you over the Christmas I'm, break, dude? I'm not saying we should do it. You've been radicalized. This is our been, Olive Garden breadsticks, dude. Who are you dude, hanging out with? You're hanging out with some... I just start reciting the You was hanging out with some... He was hanging out with some bisexual girl and got yeah. radicalized, man. He did like Irish Fear special way too much. Is that much. what happened? You got radicalized. <laughs> yeah, I was in Brooklyn. You were some <laughs> hippie yeah. Brooklyn chick with, yeah. with, with, with beautiful so, eyes and an yeah. armpit here sucked you off. And no. now suddenly you're talking about, <laughs> don't say it is. Maybe poor people aren't evil. Yeah, I'm Maybe like, poor people aren't scum and stupid. Mesmerized by the pussy, dude. I'm telling you, you yeah, fucking yeah, right. idiots. I need the juice. You need to get yourself Dr. Columns anti horn juice, sponsored by Crystalia. Dr. Columns anti horn juice. <laughs> la la la, don't get hot. <laughs> la la la, la da, da, don't get hot. <laughs> That's pretty good. Dr. Columns anti horn juice. <laughs> la la, that la should da, be, da, da, don't get hot. That should be merged, just like the company <laughs> logo of this. Of this soon to be. Dr. Columns at uh, tangible doctor, product. All right. If anyone's listening, right, and you can figure out a way to make an advert um, that we can promote this, Dr. Columns anti horn juice. <laughs> and it's like a real old school, you know, early, probably 1900s, I'm not a guess. Yeah. It could be mid 1800s. I have no idea yeah. when they were selling magic juices. But, snake um, oil is from like. Late not snake oil. No, don't use well, that word. Like don't use, I'll sue the fuck out of you. <laughs> I'll sue the fuck out of you. You'll hear from my attorneys. <laughs> You're getting sued for two bits. Two bits of silver and that hat. <laughs> two quid. But <laughs> it's all I got to my name. It's this and like a 2002 Honda. Give me $2,000. You got to have it. Give me that hat. <laughs> Sir, this is all I have. I'm suing you for the hat. <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah, so we will do Dr. Carl's anti horn juice, right? Mm. And it's starting to look like a little bottle of. Um, like a little, a little takeaway, like a, vial. a little, not a vial, but like a little nagging of a little, a little nagging. What you call it? that, dude. Nagging? <laughs> <laughs> it reminds me of my wife. You kidding me? Yeah, you're nagging. Me. I got nothing out of home. I come here to get away from the nagging, dude. Nagging. Fuck this. <laughs> um, and it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna look like a little bottle of uh, Jägermeister. Oh, uh, yeah. Like medicine. Like an uh-huh. airplane shooter. And then for some reason, there's like a Jamaican jingle where it goes, ba da ba ba don't get hard. <laughs> That's good. Ba-da, 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 me don't get hard. <laughs> me don't get hard in the morning. Me, me don't, don't get, get hard, hard at night. night. <laughs> 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 me don't get hard on the weekends. Now everything is all right. Oh, da, Dr. Da, Carlo, da, he da, saved da. my marriage. Ba-da, ba. Back in the day, I used to rape my wife. Now I don't know more cause of Dr. Carlo's at the whole juice. Da, da, ba, da, ba. <laughs> Thanks, Dr. Carlo. <laughs> Dr. Carlo. He really saved me. <laughs> Hi, my so name is good. Jamaican lady. And my, my husband used to fuck the shit out of me. <laughs> he used to fuck me in the ass, man. <laughs> me not like you when he smacking me booty. In me apple jacks. Me not like you when he smack that booty now ever since he drink Dr. Collins. I died juicy to be playing soccer in the juicy, beach. Juicy. He's smoking the ganja and he be playing soccer in the beach. <laughs> No, I cheat on him. 
<laughs> no, I cheated on him with my eldest son. Oh. Ba -ba 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 don't get hot. <laughs> it's not bad. This is a good little campaign. Good. I've been watching Mad Men, and I'm telling you, this is how you this is how you advertise things. Just Jamaican accent. What do women like? Not getting fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Genius. Don't get Genius hard. Don, Jesus. Dr. Carl's anti hard juice. <laughs> Don't get hard. I know. You did it again, Don. You did it again, Don Japer. <laughs> go smack. Go rough because up. Because now I got a date with my 14 year old now secretary. Now I got to go rough up my secretary. <laughs> <laughs> my secretary's getting out of preschool. I got to go up. beat my wife black and blue. <laughs> <laughs> Don Draper. <sighs> Man. <laughs> What a beast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So there could be a correlation. They're not fucking. I reckon they're just wanking themselves to death, these kids. Yeah. You know? Yeah. God knows it's it hasn't had a healthy effect on me. Porn. And I and I got I got some of my earlier years like porn free. Right. Cause we I You didn't have Wi Fi over there. Didn't have in internet. City. No, it, that was just like my family because we were poor. But the country, the, the, make no mistake about it, the country was flourishing. Um, is that the correct word? Yes. Yeah. Man, you both went silent. You well, yeah. It sounded like you were going to continue. I was going to continue. Well, don't get don't get insecure about your uses no, of words. They were no, right. No, no, no. They were right, dude. Just react sometimes. A little bit so of, good. hey, I understood the word, Colin. He's a thesaurus. <laughs> Fucking helps out. Every now and again, just a little bit of a reaction. Okay. Rather than I'm looking at a, a screen that froze. <laughs> he does this a lot. Begging to be on mic, and then you just stare at me like it's like I, you I just. I think you're in the middle of a tangent. Like I don't want to whip on you or so something. Much. You're just staring into the. I do got drug brain. You, you which got that help. full metal jacket, dead eyes, <laughs> and a thousand yard stare. I'm telling you. And sometimes you <laughs> look at me, and I'm just. Dude, it's, it's the fucking clunge hunting has all that <laughs> all the blood that should be in your tiny I'm, brain. I'm, I'm looking at you. I'm seeing titties right now, big dude. black. Dick. You know what happened? I touched your titties last week, so now I can't look at you without biting my lip. Oh god, I hate the biting the lip. Honestly, we don't have to. No, we're cutting that out. We're putting a stamp on that. We're putting a stamp on that right now. Not dude. the twenty-minute homophobic intro, but <laughs> that, that was fun. It was ironic. It's ironic. I say all these things, isn't it ironic? I say all things because I'm a little bit of a hack. Right, <laughs> a little bit this, of well, this part of the article is pretty funny. Uh, so, so they they were initially marketing to Gen X. This is Hooters, but uh, a study Me, Gen X. <laughs> Yo, so, so Gen X, baby. Gen X in the fucking house. Know, this X, X, X don't give it to you. <laughs> I was going to say like DMX. <laughs> I'm going to do that every time now. X don't give it to you. <laughs> That's that your right? walk-up song All now. Right, dude, what was it? Suck it. Suck it. Oh, uh, yeah. Triple H. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I'm, no, that was X-Pac, wasn't it? Was it? I don't know. Triple H used to do the, something else. I thought Triple H did the suck. Oh, is that it. what that was? Yeah, oh, suck then, it, yeah. Oh, yeah. what did the Xbox do? I don't know. Remember don't the long-haired Xbox guy? The guy who's like fucking sells meth now in Arizona? <laughs> he fucking... Yeah. Hoo, 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 hoo. We used to be. We used to do that. We'd go up to our teacher. We're like fucking six, six seven years suck old. Suck it, bitch. Suck, 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 suck. <laughs> Cripple across face. <laughs> Just beating the fuck out of some stu student teacher. Yeah, some fucking nerd, dude. Yeah, we go. Let's practice wrestling moves on Eric. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Eric. <gasps> RKO from the top ropes. <laughs> Guy, <Going> stop. <laughs> Yeah, shut up, Jew. They even though like he's not Jewish at all, we just buddy up. <laughs> he's, got, he's, he's got one girl in his hair. Ah. Like you're different. <laughs> no, it's not. It'd be so funny if we called people Jews in school. <laughs> we didn't. There was, there was like none. But that would be... you guys didn't even know what a Jew was in Ireland, right? Yeah, really not. No, to be honest, actually, not until years later. Mm -hmm. I remember there was a Jewish girl in a different one of the female high schools. Jewish Katie. That was her name in the town. That's what, honestly, that's how we just describe everyone in Ireland. Like, you know, whatever you're, def, whatever you're like, uh, your main, most, whatever you're most insecure about. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> whatever, just to warn you. you know? It's like Hansy Collie. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be bedwetting fawns. <laughs> <laughs> Boring David. <laughs> 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 Jump in, dude. <laughs> the small ears, Dave. Dude. Yeah, no, you can't hear nothing. Like, yeah, what? What was that? <laughs> Call me what? <laughs> Little ear, Dave. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> um, yeah. So uh, there was Kate, and then I, met, I remember I worked with a Jewish guy years later, and I was like, "Do you know Jewish Katie?" And he's like, "Yeah, I do," because there's not many of them in the country. So they all kind of they would have like Jewish camps and shit. And uh, <laughs> oh, uh, don't say that. Don't say Shit, that. Don't do that. Dude, I'm glad you hopped on. You said I'm. 
no, no, no. That's no. when you get one of those thousand no. yard stairs from me. <laughs> they they said they used to be <laughs> honestly though, those those Jewish camps, man. They 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 said there was thousands of them and I showed up, there's about a hundred. <laughs> uh, which is an L uh, <laughs> That's an L like uh, <laughs> The, inflating the numbers again. Yeah, 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 yeah you got it, David. David got it. <laughs> Hell yeah, David. Yeah, yeah, I knew you got it. <laughs> nice, dude. Fuck yeah, dude. You're back on the. You're no. You're back on the crew. Here, dude. You're back on the crew, right? Yeah. You're still on tin ice. All right. You're like a fat bitch on tin ice. <laughs> All right. Be careful out there. But I get good head. You're about to go. <laughs> you're about to. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. The chubby rubbies, dude. <laughs> Little snuggy chubby rubbies. Oh my god. Imagine fucking the guy and he's like, yo, I got my chubby rubbies last night. <laughs> <laughs> um be fair. I that yeah, I think that I don't know if it would hurt me actually enough, but uh I don't wanna know how many times someone's like fucked me and then they like would tell their friend, she's like, I went home with Call him last night. And they all go, oh! oh! Ew. He's like, well, I was drunk. Uh, you know, he's a little bit charming at 4 a.m. And there's no one <laughs> he's, else there. He's a, he's a, <laughs> yeah. He's the, he was the most handsome fella at the yeah, bar. Yeah, he said he was going to kill himself. <laughs> <laughs> he begged me for a cab ride home because he didn't have any money. <laughs> well, I, I sent him nudes as collateral. <laughs> 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 and he funny. He told me there was a party in his hotel room when I showed up. It was just him eating shrimp cocktail on the bed. Ah, I watched the documentary. Uh, I watched that. I shrimp watched cocktail. It. Holy shit! Was that was that what happened? I don't know. I didn't watch the documentary, dude. I th- do you want to be involved in comedy or not? This is part of the. I thought we were trying to be friends with this guy. No, we are. I think. Let I me bring know. you back to the earth. Dude. I don't know. It would be crazy for him, Crystalia. Um, to not understand that people are gonna make fun of him for these allegations, if like that would be crazy. It doesn't seem like he's friends with anybody. Who like does if, that. if there, honestly, if there was like a sort of a, it's unfortunately part of the business. I'm not, and I, I'm genuinely worried that someday something might happen to me, something really awful. I'm not like I'm gonna get some rape allegations or whatever. I can fucking duck. I'm ducking, <laughs> are you kidding me? Ducking a <laughs> Are you nuts, bro? <laughs> Can't catch me. Shoulder roll, bob and weave, dude. I'm I'm the go. They just they always they always shut Floyd Mayweather. I'm, I'm just <laughs> one step. Rolling. I'm one step ahead of the allegation. Shoulder roll. <laughs> He's got. I'm doing. Yeah, I'm doing like I'm doing like uh, you, <laughs> I'm doing like uh, YouTube videos of like. All right, so they're coming at you with these allegations, right? You want to lead low? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're, you're like that one guy who was doing the fake like assault <laughs> training. <laughs> special task, special task force, Kali. If you're getting attacked by five men at once, that's pull another, out your dick. That's another. Uh, that's a good. That's a great meme. I don't know how to do these, but you should do have him and you say Kali on it, and then the the guy attacking him is rape allegation, yeah. and then I just flip him over like Steven Seagal into the corner. That's yeah. great meming. That's good, dude. We, dude, we are memed up. I'm not. I'm not calling them memes again. Memes. I think people used to call them memes. That's what my mom does. That's so funny. Uh, Mimi. Yeah, uh, that would be. You're Gen right. X. You are that fucking would be a baby X, boomer. Dude. Yeah, dude. That would be Gen X. X, 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 X. <laughs> you fucking. Second, second. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm on the Tiki Talkies. Yes. Watching yes. these memes. You're on the Snapchat and the uh, and and the, <laughs> the inst- Snapchat. The Institute. The Institute. What's that? You on FaceTube? Um. Yeah. So. Um. Yeah, but I'm just yeah. If no, honestly, there's a fear of mine that something someday something horrible will happen. Like um, you get that guilty conscious. N- no, it'll be something like uh, you know my boy, my 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 boy is born like all pretzeled up, mad spastic looking or something. And then you know, and that's that's bad enough as it is. Let alone all these other comedians then making jokes at my my <laughs> retarded baby's expense. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that's a real that's a real uh, making fun of your accordion God. baby. Cut yeah. to everything you've ever said about spastic babies. Just like, I know, but I don't name them. I don't go like I don't go like hey fucking. Uh, right. I don't like I don't know if it's true. I don't say like Amy Schumer's son is a fucking retard. I'll just say retards in general look like Amy Schumer's son. No. <laughs> 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 Cut that! Fuck that! <laughs> Put that on the Patreon. That was no, 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 no. I'm too talented. I'm sorry. Amy. I don't know you at all. I'm sorry. That was a joke. Please, Amy, let me do your sketch show. You should be at the store waiting for you. Dude. Shut up the cell out tonight. Yeah, attack me. I don't know. Your body, you do. 
she fucking pow for your shoulder. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. the fucking. <laughs> Hit me with the fucking. be trying to do that. What do you call it when you stiff arm someone in, in football? Stiff arm. That's it, just stiff arm? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I thought there would be like a more of a fun name called like the, the Jiggy Wiggle or whatever. Oh, he hit him, he hit him with the Montana. But they're called the Bling Bling 360. He hit him with the old Joe Montana or stiff arm. Um, <laughs> yeah, but I'm saying like one day, like let's say if something happened, like I had a kid died in a car crash or something like that, mm. it, would, it would bother me then comedians making fun of my kid who died in a car crash. That's what everyone does to Dan Soder, it seems like. <laughs> I, I actually don't think they have really, have they? I've heard that a lot. Maybe in front of them. Yeah, well, yeah, in front of them. Face. So, well, oh, your dumbass family died. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've never really, I'm not really into that. Too, too I don't much. like I, that. I'm not into that. <laughs> I'd be throwing hands. I can't do that. What? If we? Yeah, no, you're sensitive. You're not. You're not in the comedy game though. You haven't bombed enough on stage. Well, I'll get you need there. to bomb in front of about half a million people. <laughs> just get numb. to even just to become like whatever. <laughs> so just, just let someone joke about your death. Yeah, until you, until you just uh, enjoy heroin and fucking eventually kill yourself. You know, that's just the that's the real goal. It's the hero's journey. Yeah. The problem is, is look if you can't make the, once you I start get it. once you start bringing in lines of what you can and cannot joke about, then it defeats the whole purpose. So all I'm saying is, Chris. Leon needs to expect that there's only a lot of comedians of who are joyous at this downfall. Well, not me personally, because I don't give a fuck about them. But uh, there are going to be people because who, who are jealous of his success and they're going to love this. And then it's also in the face of we're doing good. Mm -hmm. This is a great opportunity for us to attack him. We're allowed to attack him. Like it's funny. You go, you, someone made a fucking forty-five document, forty-five minute documentary about, you, yeah, some, like, about some, you. Just absolutely crazy. some like w wasn't he like just one of those like coercing women? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was like one of those like Brooklyn type of comics though that we yeah, like talk about, about, right? Like he's, he's the LA like the was like, yeah, a, I the, guess. No, 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 the, the guy who made the doc. Oh yeah, the guy he who made did the address doc. it at the end. He was like, I am like for the record, I am like a comedian. I'm not successful. Yeah, it's for the record, I am pro vax. Yeah, pro yeah. fat. I don't know if you saw him, but what? Yeah, Jesus, not much, not many act outs coming out of that fat cunt. Come more bit. From LA, oh we? yeah, we watched his video. Right? Remember, yeah, we watched the stand up, and we were like, we we said we'd watch the documentary. Yeah, did you saw his stand up, <laughs> and then we watched like his first joke. And went, I'm not watching that documentary. <laughs> <laughs> I can't listen to that. This guy says, we'll "Focus on yo, stay in your lane." <clears throat> but what I'm saying is, eventually, when I'm a famous comedian and I'm playing the Beacon. And although I looked into this that, year. no, I looked into it. Not gonna happen. Not doable. Too much no. of a yeah. No, that's not no. the mindset. They no. need a little money up front. Uh, yeah, and uh, Collie ain't got twenty dollars right now. So actually, I've got merch. Head off to contour.com. Buy yourself a fucking sick ass shirt. We will have Doctor Columns anti horn juice. <laughs> that's, so, that's so funny. Um, yeah, but I'm just saying, is when, when my when my son dies of a car crash, the, the, like it, it's it, there will be jokes. You know, it would be crazy for Legion Skanks people to not be making oh, fun of the fact yeah, that my yeah. my son died, and yeah. I, and that would bother me. It'll be me and I'm Dave saying it's chasing just, you down. I just I'm just really pr praying because first of all, your son dies. That's that's gotta be a bummer. Then <laughs> kind of a that's funny. That'll ruin your, that'll and, ruin your yeah, morning. Yeah, and then you got a bunch of all these fucking dickheads who are like, yo, who pissed in your make, Cheerios, making dude. memes. <laughs> yeah, making memes of like a car that's been crushed out of fucking. <laughs> At like a junkyard, and I'm like, yo, Collie's fucking son's BMW. You know how it's going to happen? Your son's going to have a BMW? <laughs> his mother is loaded. Uh, <laughs> German machinery only. His, his, his granddad, or not, his American granddad has money. Mm. And what were we saying? It's going to be in a 12 car pileup in a blizzard. No! <laughs> we were laughing. At so at idiots. least you'll be laughing while it's happening. You're watching no. your son in his stroller get oh. crushed in your back seat. No. And you go, I shouldn't have joked about this 10 years ago. Oh, no. Why did I move to Buffalo? It's so much worse than I pretended to imagine it to be. <laughs> this isn't funny at all. Anyway, so yeah, so who does rebrands after? So they're hiring small titted bitches now. Uh, yeah. So well, surely they always had some small titty so bitches. Read in this there. part that you're talking about. So Pornhub apparently is publishing studies, which is funny. Uh, I don't up. trust any of that. But it's like, just Don, it, 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 it's I just don't Johnny trust. sins in a lab coat being. I've done some studies. I've done some studies. So Pornhub. <laughs> so here's my studies. Bend the fuck over. He's sitting there like that black guy with his cock out talking to you. Like, well, I've done the. We crunch the numbers. Turns out your pussy's he's just, trash. He's just, he's just pointing that board behind him. Just like pussy. Things men love. Pussy. It's a hangman. Yeah. It's just a photo of a cunt. <laughs> um. Uh, yeah, so but I don't trust any of their no. I don't trust the num the viewing numbers. What, I don't the Pornhub. Really? Well, who's is there like a regul? Does is there like a regulated authority thingy? I think they just like have like the how data. do we know? They just have the data on it. 
You know what I mean? Like what? What? Who? How many videos get watched? Juiced. Oh, you, oh! You think they pump them up? <laughs> Definitely. Indian bot farms, dude. I was doing that on SoundCloud that, songs, dude. dude. No, they just they just don't have to do that. There's no the views are crazy. The have view, you ever looked at? Bro, you're like these are TikTok. I like numbers. the niche ones. I like the indie films. The They're the most version. watched thing. It's crazy. dude. I, I told you, like I was at the stand not too long ago, and um, Lisa Ann, she's involved in comedy or whatever. You know, she came down, sat down beside us. She was, and she was like very nice I was like hey she's like oh I'm Lisa nice to meet you I was we, like oh we yeah know. Oh, have I <laughs> we know <laughs> wait who are you never never saw you in my life you yeah. look like Sarah Palin it's crazy she's like, literally if you had to go by the world standards she's probably one of the most famous people on the planet Lisa Ann that get fucked on camera yes for a certain no no in, in, general, no, in yeah. general you guys really think that yeah. yes yeah, she was number one searched porn star for like 10 years in a row on Pornhub. I think, And I guess that is, yeah, I they're think, international, I think, they're global. I think everyone knows who her, she is. How many views did uh, that Eminem but I, but music I'll video tell you, I'll, but I, I'm going to tell you, this is like, well, she came down and sat beside us. Tell me. Not a single person like came over like, hey, Lisa, can I get a photo? She was, I'm, it was just guys and their girlfriends going... <sighs> You're, holy shit. Well, it's weird. I met another porn star. I, I don't know her name, but I'd recognize her face. That's Gangfest. Um, and I, I, I didn't even know what to say. I wasn't like, I didn't know if I was going to be like, hey, I love your work. Or hey, that one video of you getting stuck in the fucking coffee table. Go, oh my God, that made me come so hard. I just keep going back to that. <laughs> it's one of those things. You, The more you watch it, the more you realize what you missed, you know? It's like, yeah. God, it's like, the, it's like Goodfellas. <laughs> Um, Looking for Easter eggs like a fucking Marvel movie. So that's look. This is just ten best by some random Sasha fucking, Gray, yeah. fucking like insert. How many like views they how, get? Check wait, out that wait, we go, made you video. Wait, Eminem. You, how many views that got? Because that's what got her famous. She was in that yeah, Eminem music video. I think she was already a big porn star by the time. Nah, I but came when she's around 2008, when Sarah Palin like entered, yeah, she did do some. Sarah she did a Palin. lot of Sarah Palin stuff, and everyone was like, "I want to watch that lady get." Fried. And I think now, nah, I think people are starting into that like mommy, that mommy look. Hey, mommy, a quarter billion. Um, 241 million views on that music video. No, look, head off. And all just those, click on porn. Go into Pornhub. And all those just views open, got converted into Open Pornhub. Porn huh? I'm saying the 240 million people that watched Eminem's and, music video. Type in Lisa Ann. All right. And make sure this is. Uh, how to navigate this website. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what is, what's this called? <laughs> what is, how do you spell this? <laughs> Guys, I'm. Lisa Ann. I'm, I'm yeah, breaking this cage. Go to her. Whoa, go, what is that thing? Click on her. Now, look. It Did should, your boy see that? Stop, stop, stop for a second, will you? Look at the views. Look, 553 million video views. Video views. That's, that's just on nuts. That's on hers. On just Pornhub. Those are Drake No, numbers. that's just hers. That's, yeah. not, that's just on her upload right. channel. Right. That's not including all of the other videos that have probably Other websites. Got. The other channels post the same videos. 700,000 subscribers. A billion. Honestly, if you get a million views today, if, you, if, I, did st if I had a stand-up comedy clip or a podcast clip that got a million views on YouTube... It, I could easily tour. Oh, I like that Sky Bree girl. She's a new one. She's, yeah, she's, she's like a, but she's more like, a, she, she, she's a porn star, but she's like involved in like podcasts and stuff. I just followed this girl Abella on Instagram. Abella Danger. Abella Danger. She's the number one ranked porn star right now. Has 1.6 no billion views on really? 1.2 million subscribers. Can we throw in a video just for our eyes? No, no, we're not watching porn here. <laughs> no, no, no. Get, quick, I, quick, 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 no, I was just no, getting no, some anti-horn juice, dude. Oh my God, quick, we need Dr. Collins. I'm like 15 years younger than you guys. I'm so much more near. Dr. Dr. Collins, magical anti-horn juice. We have extra strength. You got the extra strength. Though. Yeah, you guys got elder strength, the old nah, fucks. Nah, we got so X gonna give it to you. <laughs> hey, listen, we have Dr. Collins anti-horn juice right now. Put on some, put on burly legal porn. <laughs> I will not. So Emily Willis, <laughs> Emily Willis and that other girl, Sky Bree, are like, they're like very, they're involved in like social media. Like. Yeah, they're like yeah. doing vlogs. and all Riley that Reed too, that girl. Love her. So and Lana She Rose. does a lot of that stuff. Yeah. yeah. Oh, look, look, look. I like Brandy. Love that old bitch. <laughs> Who's Mr. Rogers in the sweater vest? That's that skinny kid. They oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Jordy. Yo, Jordy. El Nino. Jordy. El Nino. Papito. Uh, El Nino. Ha, ha ha I come on your ass. Ha, ha. <laughs> he's running around like a little elf, just coming all over the place. <laughs> yeah, just go. He, he's like a friend from elementary school. He comes over and just keeps fucking your mom. <laughs> El Nino loco. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, Nino, stop coming. <laughs> Classic. Classic yeah. Nino. Anyway, yeah, just but but the point is, is with Lisa Ann, I don't think these look. I, I do think she's still more famous than most of these, just in terms of her the longevity she's had of her career. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. 
these are the new flash in the pan, like your generation, but for yeah. our generation, it was this was like from from when I was twenty to thirty. She She's was a like Gen the Xer, number, probably. Hmm? Represents. She's a baby boomer. That bitch your, old. your generation. She old as hell. She's your generation. She old as hell. That bitch old as hell. Um, now Riley Reed's like these girls are like so famous. It's just more accessible now. That's but I don't get. It's funny. I don't get it when I watch these people. Like, why would a Bella Danger be number one? I don't. Because like, she has high quality ass videos. She has one great video where she sucks off her brother while he's asleep. I love that. That's a good no, one. She has some. She that's has some really, good work. That's a really good one. No, I like her cinematography. You never, you never saw the one where she sucks off her brother while he's asleep. She wants to wake I don't like up. the ones that are. Oh, is yeah. it stepbrother? Don't ask me. I I, I have that word blocked. I have <laughs> yeah. step blocked. So it doesn't, <laughs> don't even give me an option. Lana Rhodes, if any. She doesn't have that. What the much fuck are work. you looking at? <laughs> I'm laughing at you, sick fuck. <laughs> what the fuck are you looking at? I love Lana Rhodes. Lana she might be my favorite. No, I don't. I just, Lana Rhodes is. is, is, is she doesn't have a lot out there. I think Look at talk, that bottom one. Hey, we did, talked about this. Did we talk about yeah. this? Yes. Is that the, the very first video I ever saw with Lana Rhodes is she sits on her brother's piss uh -huh. and she's like, my yeah, ass yeah, is yeah, all yeah, wet. Yeah, and yeah. then he fucks her. Yes. And like the whole time it's kind of. It just. It, I just wish that wasn't the first video I, I saw. Because now I I'm agree. just thinking of her, her, her pissy, cold, yes. cold, pissy ass. I like a lot of her joint stuff with Riley Reid. Like a great collab work. It's like the fucking Stones and the Beatles. Nah, dude. Be, we should have saved all this porn talk for the fucking Patreon. Nah, dude, we got the free listeners all horned up. <laughs> I know you got to buy yourself some uh, <laughs> shirt. <laughs> Dr. Collins, magical anti horn juice. Are you feeling like Brickless Cage? <laughs> you need that right now. I'm telling you. Yeah. yeah. No more clunch. We're low T. Yeah, this Anyways, is a let, me just, up let me just read this this part of the study. So uh, Pornhub released a report on boob aversion. It says that young adults between the ages of 18 and 24 are currently 19% less likely to look for breast-oriented videos than other demographics. Mm. So people are liking tits less now. Maybe it's because they all became that big fucking Cardi B-looking retards. And they're all big fake ass, big fake tits. And they're, like, they look fucking stupid. I think ass is just like in now it's cool to be like i'm an ass guy some of these videos i see of cardi b i'm like just like this is disgusting oh she's yeah it's oh. a little too much <laughs> no i, 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 I think it. i think she's hot from it. afar and a video i think if you saw and her she in opens real life, her fucking mouth sometimes you see those big fat asses in real life and you go what the fuck you look weird yeah you look fucking weird bitch <laughs> weird bitch <laughs> You fucking weirdo. Weird no, she's hot as fuck. Look at you. Someone once described her as a bodega cat that came to life. And <laughs> I think it's the funniest description ever. <laughs> so funny. So funny. <laughs> Comedian Alex Payne, check him out. Um, oh, yeah, Nikki. I love them both. Big fan of Nikki. Mm -hmm. I'd rather be with Nikki now, personally, if I had my... Or, or Meg. But again, these big bitches, like, I think they're good <laughs> to look at uh, like on certain videos and stuff. And then in real life, when you're walking down New York and you see a girl with that huge fake ass, where you go, that's a fake ass. It's kind of like fucking revolting a little bit. Yeah. It's, and usually yeah. when they usually when the ass is exposed, it's like full of bullet wounds and shit. You know, it's not, it doesn't look good. It's like it's like a fucking... It's like a mafia car outside yeah. Spark Steakhouse. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's like Ray Liotta's cheeks. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Ray Liotta's face. Like you look the moon on her. She's yeah, a moon it's ass. Not, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> moon ass. Uh, nah, yeah. I like it. Yeah, oh, man. I know, I but yeah. but I get what you're saying. If it's that, if it's like and crazy fake ass, big, fake asses can be hard too. It's, just it's fake not. fake asses can be like you can't bring that home to it, like if it's family. fake yeah they're it's fucking the new ones are good but yeah are they like back in the day a girl get her tits done they'd just be like rocks yeah but mm. the same with the asses though the asses now jiggly these days yeah or they they solid they're supposed to be jiggly they're pretty good at it because they take your they take your uh belly fat and put it in there they'll just suck yeah, fat out bbl and do skin grafts yeah mm -hmm. all right these millennials are fucking tutti fruities but listen i get it but again you know big bitches are getting fatter so big tits is always a great way of being like, hey, look, I'm a big tits, big big titted girl, and you're like, big evident. Yeah. yeah. Why why stop talk? Why why stop just describing yeah, the super size me? You're a big your woman. Neck rolls are. Oh, do you ever do you ever Google uh, fat girl small tits? Horrid. It's I haven't. Googled and I mean it, this in the, it. like I mean I this. can picture as soon as you said it, a picture oh, formed in my brain. It's and really this is it does sound awful because like whatever you want to be a big girl, be a big girl, whatever. Personally. I honestly find big girls, small tits, that whatever that look is, revolt. I agree. Like, I mean, like, it's like, oh, I feel like. the beluga I, whale looks not in this year. I, 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 <laughs> yeah. Big <laughs> chick with a little fucking flappy, <laughs> little She's flap. got fins. Oh, God. Seen it recently. Like, like a pair of, like a pair of washing gloves stapled to someone's chest. You saw, you got in that recently? Yeah, I'll save it for the Patreon. Oh, oh my God. Oh, taking a big girl's small bra off. Oh. Horrible, man. 
It's just she's not even wearing it. And bra. I mean, look, I mean this. Like, I'm sorry. That's I'm sorry. This makes me feel this way. Like I do, kind of feel guilty for being like <laughs> not liking fat girls. Fat girls with small tits. Ugh. I'm sorry, but that's just crazy. And that's that's always also been a problem of mine with all these uh, fat plus size models. Mm. They're always beautiful, whether they are fat or skinny. They're born with fucking good eyes. Mm. Features, a face can still symmetry. a fat face got, can yeah, still be pretty. Yeah, they got symmetry. Symmetry. Yeah, symmetry. <laughs> they got symmetry. <laughs> well, be in a cemetery. <laughs> <pretty dense. laughs> hey, fuck. Uh, yo, give me two, two. Give me two plots. <laughs> <laughs> we, we're gonna need a bigger casket. No! <laughs> yes, the boys. <laughs> the boys yo, are buzzing. Welcome to the Republic of Riff. <laughs> I I hereby hereby <laughs> declare we this call, land. Mean, we call Africa. Uh, yeah. a, 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 oh, Africa. Africa. Shut Africa. up, dude. <laughs> 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 Back to on <ice. laughs> How about how about Ab Libya? Whoa. Okay. Ab Libya. Ab Lib. Uh, yeah. We get it. <laughs> Ab- no, Libya is a real place. Libya is an actual real place. Oh, okay. Libya. You threw a prefix that threw me off. I was yes. like, Africa. Libya. No, Libya is a real place. Yeah, ad, it's Ab Libya. Ad, li- ad, li- ad Libya. You're like ad fat Libya. Libya. I said, yeah. I said Ab. Sorry. Ad. All right. Do that again. Cut that out. How about right, one, two, three. You guys better go nuts, dude. Close up. I need a couple of stabs in this bitch, right? <laughs> Ad Libya. Whoa. <laughs> 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 That's why I make the big debt. <laughs> Let me see that paste up from Fallon. <laughs> it's lying around there somewhere, is it? Yeah, it's like he left it on the desk to like troll us, I swear. <laughs> Fuck it, what was it, 900 bucks? I don't know. Gray. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Gray. <laughs> don't disclose it to these guys. Nice. 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 Yeah. Yikes. <laughs> Guess what, $900? Your boy's only in nine thousand dollar debt now. Oh god! Nice, not even chipping away at the ice. Holy really fuck! It's <laughs> I'm telling you, this. we're fucked. Dude, we're really and fucked. And these New York taxes, we are. No, yeah, we're we're fucked. We're fucked. Yeah. Dude. Just like you guys know. I hope you guys have a lifeboat, a plan, yeah. something, That's some awesome. sort of a. Cont- <laughs> Cause this ain't this ain't going nowhere. Um, all right, listen. Uh, shout out to the new titty. Uh, I get it. I I appreciate guys who are into small tits. I like I like a nice. I like a perky tit. It's got to fit the body type though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's all yeah. subjective. Yeah, there's no real, there's no right or wrong reason for what a good tit is, bad tit is. Skinny petite girl with like small titties, like she'd still be hot as fuck. Yeah. I'm with you. But like you said. <sighs> anyway, like look, again, too, we're distracted by, see this? We could have been talking about the fucking uh, Zelensky Let's or talk something. Ukraine. Yeah, something yeah, I know I know. And now here we are talking about Clunge again. We had yeah. a, we had a little historic uh Tangent on like you know the Crusades, a little history was in there. I thought those were good riffs. Now we're just calm talk. Dude. Nah, yeah. <laughs> Look, yeah, no. our ears are filled with calm. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what I'm trying to tell you guys. You got to get yourself. <laughs> Here we go. Look, what are you guys doing? You riffing? We're just having little little jokes. Don't well. Don't. What are you writing, dude? Just, a lot of most of the people who listen, uh, watch this, uh, or appreciate the podcast, listen. So you can't be memeing jokes. Well, those are inside jokes with the YouTube audience. The pe- like and subscribe. Yeah, and if you're watching us on Spotify, join us on YouTube. Please. Um, oh, is that the... Okay, so we're working on merch here. Annie Collie's fucking... There we go. Look, I'm... Collie's I, anti-horn juice. Yeah. Dr. Collie's anti-horn juice. Dr. Collie's. Annie Collie's anti-horn juice. <laughs> let me get, let me just... It's a fat woman with small tits. That is anti-horn juice. There we go. Yeah, anti-horn juice Let's is go. a fat... Doc, Dr. Column's magical anti-horn juice. Look. Zoom in on that. Can you zoom in? Not there. You, you can zoom in. <laughs> what was that noise? Can you see it? Look, yeah. There we go. Get, get closer. Closer? Closer? I said closer. Too close. All right. Yeah, see? Dr. Carly, doc, Dr. Column's magical anti-horn juice. Yeah. Five Goddamn cent. billion dollar idea, That's Mark right. Cuban. Get rich Five quick. cent. What's a cent sign? Is like is it like it's that? It's a C with a slash. Just one. Yep. Or two. I, I gave it two anyway. It works because it looks cool. Yeah. Five cent. Five cent a gallon. <laughs> it's actually just a, yeah, it's just a photo of a fat chick with small tits. Yeah. You go yeah. to drink it and you go, what the hell? You pull out a photo. This is a fat girl. Oh, I'm I'm cured. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> it's like you know, it's like one of those Pringle boxes that you open, and then like a, silly a, snake, a snake comes out. Yeah. Actually, you actually yeah. open it, and it's just like, yeah. and it's just a fat girl with small tits. And you go, yeah. ah, oh. ah, Doctor Columns, magical anti orange juice. <laughs> but every bop bop beat up, but don't get hard. <laughs> but a bop bop, don't get hard. They got get hard in the morning. Get hard in the morning. All right, that must be the, that must be an hour and a half, is it? Yeah. 105. Oh, we got to do questions from the Patreon. Oh, right, yeah. Fuck. Questions from the Patreon. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll answer a couple of these on the actual Patreon because we're, we're giving these fucking freebie guys too much. You know what I mean? Um, but if you want to submit questions, join the Patreon every week. Patreon.com. Patreon.com slash Calm Leave us your questions, um, topics. Oh, yeah. We never we should become have... a part of the crew. Questions from the Patreon. From the Patreon. 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 It's not bad. It's not Patreon. bad. Yeah. Questions from the motherfucking. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Q. U. E S T I O N S. Oh no, stop. O M T H E P A T. No, you're not. O N S. Questions from the Patreon. Questions. From the Patreon. All right, guys, that's it for today. Thanks. Really thought you guys would have had my back there and joined in. Join in on a little bit of tomfoolery there. You know we no. can't spell, dude. Bro, bro, was that the reason you didn't want to join in? At first, I said questions. No, he went Q, Q and a? I said, I, I You're did. You're I was like, they're fucking taking the babies. Uh, all right, this uh, question comes in from Joe Prendergast. Uh, Big thanks, fan. Thanks, thanks, thanks for the question, thanks, Joe. Joe. Always supporting. My boy calls me with a new cell number every few weeks, it seems. Is that a true sign of someone who doesn't have their shit together? (laughs) 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 And what are some other tell... Tail signs of someone who needs to get it all together. Great question, Joe. That's, actually that's the best question we've got from the great, Patreon. That's without question. a doubt the only interesting question we've ever had. <laughs> that's a good question. Um, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's, first of all, yes, he, that is a sign of someone who doesn't have their shit together. It's yeah, great. what's he getting? Prepaid phones from 7 Eleven? <laughs> he's crushing them, he's smashing them. He, yeah. just, he comes up and goes, Let me borrow your phone. I have a SIM card. <laughs> Do I remember that? There was, yeah. a, time, yeah. there was yeah. a time when people had SIM cards, but they didn't have phones. Yeah. yeah. Like, I, I remember that. Like, people were like, Oh, you got a phone? I got, I got a SIM card. And then, like, if you'd be out with your friends, and then someone would walk up and go, Give me a lend of your phone. And then they'd put their SIM card in, yeah. and then they would, like, ring someone or text someone, and yeah. they'd give you your phone back and yeah, go, Thanks. Yeah. What the fuck? It was crazy. That was peak technology. That was a wild time. Back when you used to have like fucking minutes or like the certain, mm-hmm. you used to have a certain amount of texts. Yeah, yeah. Text you used minutes, to have like a, minutes. You used to have like 350 texts a week or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, and it was crazy. Buy a ringtone for 99 cents. Yeah, yeah. It was not, And then text used to be small too. Text used to be small like Twitter. Like almost like you could only like send a certain amount. So you'd have to be like, You'd write and then you'd dot 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 and then you'd write another bit and you'd dot dot dot. So you'd have to like send like four texts. I hate you. I'm going to kill yeah, myself. Yeah. Please come back. I love you. I got the most important that. thing in the world to tell you. Dot dot dot. And then just leave it. <laughs> um, yeah, good old days. So that's a bad sign. Although I do, as, as far as I know, what's the youngest generation now? Who do you? Z. The Z's. They said this in the Z's. That, generation. Not born yet. Was it? Generation They're Aziz. calling the next generation Alpha, which let's be honest. Yes. No! Yeah, like betas. More like betas. betas. More like generation betas. You kidding me? Like generation soy milk. Uh, uh, I'd like to see them fucking storm Normandy yeah. with their blue hair and yeah. their, their, their dicks, even though they're women. <laughs> Goddamn right, brother. <laughs> fucking not having no trans <laughs> woman. Orchestra. No trans man can storm Normandy. Um... So yeah, so that's a good. And what, what are, are other signs? Do you think of someone who doesn't have their shit together? Oh, nice, good question. That's the follow up to his. I question. know, I know. I'm joking because it's the first time you've ever asked a question on the podcast, um, and it was given to you by one of the fucking I'm trying to keep this ball rolling. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know you should be asking questions constantly. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? What do you got? I got one. Go, Let's please hear. shoot in. Uh, it's, I did this like a, three weeks ago. I slept through a flight. I just s- woke up to my alarm going off and a notification on my phone saying your flight is now taxing on the runway. What the hell? I was like, well, I'm not going to make what, that. What, you just forgot to say your alarm? It's a bad... No, it's just... My, my alarm was going off. I just kept sleeping. Oh, wow. And my sister apparently said to my dad, she's like, he needs a wife. Whoa. She's and not I wrong. Found, I, no, she's not wrong. She's 100% right. 
Of course, that hurts. Yeah, so that's a bad sign. Where when do we fo- when do we find wives? Dude, I, where are people finding wives? What's going on? Tinder? Porno? What the fuck? Lisa. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Lisa. <laughs> Lisa, I love you. You ever slept through a flight? You probably missed. No. You never missed a flight? I, that was the first I, time. I mm-hmm. missed a flight once because I booked it on the wrong day. <laughs> and it wasn't, it wasn't too long ago. It that goes hand in hand with that. It though. was definitely yeah, in the last 12 months. It's a bad sign. <laughs> yeah, I, I honestly still don't know how it happened. It was funny because I got a text. I don't. I can't. Anyway, I had to eat it and just buy another flight. Same. A couple hundred bucks. I, I, was I in LA or somewhere? And I just, I got a, I got a text yeah. about your flight. It's like about to take yeah, off today legit. or tomorrow. And I was like, and I didn't. I was yeah, getting like emails. Check in. There's 24 hours. They were saying check in, but I thought I had 48 hours or whatever. But I, so I never opened it. it wasn't so that I got funny. a text that saying tomorrow or something? Or I yeah. went to check in. I was like, oh, uh oh. I had my yeah. name called over the loudspeaker in the airport once too. Oh, I, sick! I forgot. You lost track. You lost. I was talking to someone. <laughs> We've got a little boy called <laughs> David. David Kenny Casciano. Your parents are looking for you. <laughs> I was like, yeah. <laughs> Mama. He's a, Mama. He's, Mama. <laughs> How much for the Pepsi? <laughs> um, yeah. Nice. So you got why? Because you missed your flight a little bit. They just were. Clo- they're gonna close the gate, and I hadn't boarded. And Where like, were you? Just walking around? I was at San Francisco. Just trying on fragrances at the fucking... <laughs> <laughs> with the Habibi? Yeah. Listen. You like it. smell. It smells good. Oh, yeah. Give me the one with the naked man on the bottle. <laughs> I saw... I was at San Francisco airport. I saw Jerry Rice. <laughs> Is this cum? Is this <laughs> cum? No, that's me. Cum by Giorgio Armani. Do you have that smells like cum? <laughs> no, but we have semen by me. Dior. He goes, give, give me a... Yeah, he's like, he has like the cum fragrance thing. I'm missing my flight. Yeah, and, there's, <laughs> and there's You're jizz like, by oh, Tommy Hilfiger. Oh, my God. I'm getting asparagus. I'm getting bleach. Baby. A, l- a little battery acid. Oh, yeah, a little pancake batter. <laughs> mm, nice. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> yeah. what else I shouldn't. B- bad sign. What else we got back there? <laughs> <laughs> Just trying out fragrances of Here's spunk by <laughs> Banana Republic. <laughs> <laughs> the new Rihanna Mango <laughs> Mango by Fenty <laughs> You've heard of Mango? <laughs> it's a Mango <laughs> No, it's a guy who came on a Mango <laughs> Oh, nice I like that Now we're talking um, And what are some telltale times Someone needs to get it together Yeah, I think that's a good sign Whenever you You know, if you ever want to invite someone somewhere And they're always just like They're always complaining about money you know, it's like, oh, that hotel. Oh, this. You go, all right, you need to stop hanging out with us. You us. you decided. Oh, yeah, I'm like, well. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's a good sign. I I guess missing flights regularly. I, I never miss flights. I was just I'm, a, I'm, an, I'm an early flight Same. guy. I'm a Same. real early flight guy. Yeah. Same. Never, never, never. And even when I'm an hour early, I'm like. Still like, getting anxious. I'm, at, I'm, yeah. at the, I'm in this. I'm at the fucking. Yeah. Go, come on. So, take your fucking shoes off are you fucking stupid yeah the worst <laughs> you want to smack someone in the back of the head I'm the a, I'm laptop a, goes out of the bag I'm, I'm, in fairness though sometimes the laptop stays in sometimes it comes out mine but stays in sometimes it depends on the no but it depends on the machine that you're going through really yeah and then the, sometimes they want you the shoes on sometimes they want your shoes off but then it's like some people are walking around like retards like it's their first time ever it's like what the fuck is going on first of all we need an English speaking line and a whatever else line Enough of that fucking shit, right? Whatever bullshit you guys are talking out there. Oh, man, I got fucking ass raped in fucking Toronto, right? I went into Toronto um, I'm because I'm an immigrant, because I'm like a European or something with the visa, like whatever. They had to put me through like a second screening. And, and, the, and so I went into this other place and the line, the, the flight must have came off oh, fucking, came from Wuhan. I'm telling you, there was 180 Asians. <laughs> <laughs> all in front of me all this in groups of eight they are the slowest and the, it was just uh, like it, it, it takes their time that's why they live the longest it's, oh it's, my god the flight was late leaving new york it was because of snow or some shit so by the time i got there i just got fucked and i was like the last person in line for an hour and a half <laughs> and then the guy's like going what are you doing in canada and she's going yimmy yimmy and he's like where are your papers she's like he's like how do i know you're leaving and then there's like a translator. Oh, she, she has a house back in China. How the fuck would I know that? Yeah. He's like, what are, you, <laughs> yeah, yeah. what are you? And I'm just like, come on. And then the, uh, literally I go up and I go, here's my thing. Here's my thing. I'm working tonight at this theater. And the man was like, oh, cool. Go on. It was yeah. like four minutes. He loved you. Yeah. After doing doing that for an hour. 
th- there's a real trick to getting away what you want is to be the guy that they love. Yes. You come in like that. Quit, yeah, ready like, to go. I remember once I, I snuck into a music festival in Ireland, right? So it the, the way it would work was... um. It would. It, the music festival started. It was like a full festival. So once you just get in the door, like a multiple day festival. Yeah, you're just in the camp for right. the fucking whole weekend, and you can come and go if you want. But you got to have like a pass and this huge security. It's a pain the cut. So I got someone to go in on a Thursday. They cut off their pass. They went straight up to the security guard that they had just been talking to and go, "Literally, that man, you just put that pass on me, and it must have fallen off immediately. I don't know what you did." And then she got another one. So then they got an extra pass. Now I can't walk up with the fucking pass ripped off. So what I did was then I I wrote up a fake letter saying that I was that I was working. And so I said I and I went to the guy and I go, look, I'm a chef. <laughs> and I wrote up a fake letter. And I and so I'm I, with the catering. I said I, oh. no, I said I'm a chef. And I came up last night, set up my tent, I left this morning, I worked, and now I'm back today. And here's a letter from my boss saying that I wasn't allowed to work in the kitchen because of uh, you're not allowed to wear any wristbands or whatever. And then the man was like, oh, cool, great. And I was like, because everyone was shouting at them. A lot of people were up there, ah. they're screaming at them, going, let me fuck it in. I bought my ticket, all this type of shit. People bought fake tickets, were yeah, going mad. Yeah. And I came in and going, these are fucking a bunch of animals. I think he's like, you must have a tough day. And he's like, yeah. I was like, man, I don't, I don't envy you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just, listen, come, keep, when you get off, let's get a drink, huh? Come yeah. on. And he's like, come by my tent, I'll make you a sandwich. I went in there and I was like, oh, snuck in, snuck into the festival. You're just downing Molly tablets. The ledge, the ledge. Legend. The ledge, <laughs> snuck into it. Snuck into the festival, baby. Snuck into the festival. Hell yeah. That was a classic move. So yeah. just so you, if you ever know, just write up a fucking ladder and say you had to take off. And I remember specifically with the wording was great. I said, rules of this restaurant that you can't wear this, you can't wear that, except for wedding bands, which are always exempt, oddly. Smart. Legally. You're not allowed, you can't tell someone to take off their wedding ring in the kitchen for some reason because it's like a religious thing, at least in Ireland anyway. So I was like, tapity tapity. Oh, you typed it up and everything? Oh, Damn. What were I just re- fucking reciting it to him? I thought <laughs> you like just wrote it down like real quick, like in I your car on the way. No, out. I typed it up. Header, header paper. Had That's it all. Nice. Had it all thought out. You put like a fake company like stamp on it and shit. Yeah, and uh, the only and I did get a I did get someone's ticket stub though, which kind of I might have fucked with me because it didn't make sense. Yeah, why me. would you have a ticket stub and be working there? I wasn't right. working there. I, I but, was I was not working. But at the for fest. the charade, so, right, yeah, for the charade. Oh, because if you went in on the Thursday with your ticket, you scan the ticket, then they give you a wristband and then you can stay the weekend. Right. Now you're allowed to leave. So then when I showed back up, I had my right, wristband. Right, but why would you have both? Is what Because you keep your ticket stub. But you were an employee there. An employee. I was not an employee there. I was not, I had no... I that was, was fake. I, I was not employed by uh, anything. <laughs> I was not even employed there. I said I left the festival to go to work at a different place. Oh, I said I was like working uh, on a I different. You said you would be. You were like a chef at the festival. No, I said. I also thought that too. Yeah. Sorry, no, I said I left the festival to go work at my chef job in a different location mm. in a different part Damn, of the world. Damn, that's a stretch. That is a stretch, sucks, dude. Yeah, yeah. No, no, it's great because I said I come down on a Thursday, sat up my tent, I left because I had work this morning, can't get out of it. But you want a lot of people show up early to set up their tent because all the good tent spots get taken. Pretty fucking. That's good. Also, everyone else is drunk. They're covered in glitter. They're shouting at them. Mm. I, I showed up like fucking. They wear like the neon fucking three piece suit I was wearing. Sh- yeah. Yeah. Chef hat. <laughs> <laughs> a neon rave. When's the yacht on the other day? Ching ching yeah yeah. Yeah yeah. Yeah yeah. Need a dubstep remix to that. All right, that was a great question, Joe uh, Pendergrass. I don't know what other opportunities people don't have their life together. Maybe being a single mom. So um, leave some comments below <laughs> if you think whatever you can think about. Uh, we're going to head off the Patreon for part two, baby. With things that are going to get nuts because we have a video of a woman getting hit in the head with a sledgehammer.